I knew the whole community was wanting this guy being detained and not on the loose. So when I left my house last night before the ship, I told my wife, I'm going to catch him. Mm -hmm. sure that enough, I did. is the Harris County Sheriff's deputy who chased and helped arrest Jose Rodriguez this morning. And this is our first look at Rodriguez since then. This just into our newsroom from investigators. He is now in the Harris County Jail. Yeah, but what do we know about this guy? In 1990, he was convicted of a string of violent crimes, including attempted aggravated sexual assault. Rodriguez was paroled last September after spending 27 years in prison. He was released with an ankle monitor that police say he cut off just before his rampage began. And just minutes ago, we heard from the deputy once again who captured him. The last victim on Rodriguez's alleged crime spree was working inside a mattress one store in North Houston. His name was 57-year-old Edward Magana. Magana was shot and killed inside that store. David Gonzalez sat down with Magana's children to learn more about him. He joins us now live. David? Hey, me and Len, as you can imagine, it has been a very surreal time for this family. They say that the tragic events that took place inside of this mattress one store could have happened to anyone. Sadly, it happened to their father. I feel a genuine sense of emptiness. Paola, Raul, and Eric are coping with the tragic death of their father, Edward Magana. It's just so weird. It's so weird. You know, you, you're so used to seeing someone so often. Uh, you're used to hearing his voice. I've had so many great memories with him and so many great memories with him and my mom. And it's just so weird, you know, I'm just waiting for him to walk through the door. The family is numb to know their father was killed inside the mattress one store he worked in in what appears to be a random act of violence by a killer on the run. Right now, on top of everything else that is going on, dealing with the fact that my mother is effectively broken by this tragedy, is just really devastating for me personally to have to witness this. I mean, my parents were my rocks. I mean, they're my best friends. Eric was one of the last people to talk with Magana before he was killed. He said, hey, I have a customer. I got to go. I'll call you afterwards. I'm like, all right. So I waited for the call, basically. Magana held jobs as an ESL teacher, Uber driver, and most recently at the Mattress One store as a sales rep. He had only been at the Cross Timbers location for a few weeks. To him, his work was his getaway. He couldn't stand to be home and just doing nothing. And that's something I really respect. He just had to be doing something to keep himself busy. His kids say this act of violence could have happened anywhere. It's a living nightmare they don't wish upon anyone. Go and hug your loved ones tonight and be thankful that they're still around because you never know when that's going to change. And right now, talking with the family, they say that they are working on funeral arrangements for their father. And as soon as we get that information, we will pass it along to you. For now, they say they'll depend on each other to get them through these tough times. Back to you guys. It's going to be a tough time ahead for them, but we'll be thinking about them. David, thank you so much.